So in the exhibition we're going to see shh. I'm interested in the fact that shh, shh, shh. At Science Carry Dublin we want people to come to the exhibition and think a little bit differently about secrecy. Secrets pervade every aspect of our life from cryptography to gossip, from state secrets to spoilers. We've explored a lot of ways in which uh, technology is tracking people. And we've also looked at ways in which artists can visualize the whole idea about secrecy. The Republic of Privacy is a project um, to illustrate a, a fictional nation to guarantee people to have 100% privacy. Secrecy is a really interesting topic to cover right now because we often discuss privacy, transparency, but privacy is often discussed in a passive way. It's something that can be taken from you, something you can give up, something that can be intruded upon. Whereas secrecy is more active, it's more, um, it's more aggressive in a way, but it's also a bit more fun. It's a web browser extension that makes email scary to the National Security Agency. I'm trying to suggest an alternative mode of privacy, one that's built on visibility and noise, rather than encryption and silence. In other words, hiding in plain sight is kind of the idea here. So a lot of very uh, kind of politically challenging um, exhibits, let's say. Uh, certainly food for thought in terms of security. It's all um, passwords from um, LinkedIn. They hacked in, they found these passwords, I guess. And mine was on it. It's uh, Sexy Snake 69 I never picked a lock before, and it was extremely satisfying. It was very easy, and I learned a lot. I really liked how it was also interactive, like the secret handshake thing and all the cryptography upstairs. I thought it was a brilliant job. Chris. I especially like this one. It's such a simple, it's not really tech at all, it's like really cool. It's a different aspect of the secret to what I thought it might be. I mean, it's very sort of a public access and your identity and what you leave behind and your lack of secrecy. Everyone knows like, yeah, I should probably change settings on Facebook or I should probably be a bit more careful about what my passcodes, but this makes it all real really quick. The crowdsource intelligence agencies about letting people who use Twitter become intelligence analysts themselves. Can you really analyze someone and determine if they're suspicious or not? with this amount of information. I think a lot of the projects, including Notepad, show us that what might seem to be an empty sheet of paper or a credit card or something like that actually um, contains a lot more information than we often care to think about. It's... I found my password and roughly 20 people have it and I'm like, ooh, better change that, you know, complicate it a bit more. I see people looking at these different artworks and different research projects and actually make um, changes to their own technology and devices that when they leave they feel slightly more empowered. What was the name of your first childhood pet? That is one of my sort of security questions somewhere, which is cheeky. 